Hey everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel where we will be learning how to use Figma. Figma is one of the most creative graphics editing tools is overtaking the design industry. Being cost free to use is what makes it so attractive. You have come to the right side if you still don't know what this web application is or if you are seeking advice on how to use the program to itself fullest potential. So without any further delay, let's move ahead for our session. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. How to use Figma. In this today's session, we will see what Figma is. Moving forward, we will see how to use Figma. Now let's discuss what Figma is and proceed further for the same. Figma is an online tool for designing and editing users and graphics interfaces. It may be used for various graphic design tasks including wireframe websites, creating users interfaces for the mobile applications, creating design prototypes, creating posts for the social medias and everything in between. Compared to other graphics editor software, Figma is unique, mostly because it immediately works with your browser. Also, you can begin designing and getting your project from any computer or platform without installations of additional software or acquiring additional licenses. After discussing what is Figma, we will see how to use Figma. It is a web-based application as we already explained. To begin using the app, you only need a desktop or laptop with a reliable browser and an internet connection. After that, you may sign up for a free account on the Figma website, additionally, you may immediately get to work on new designs. With Figma, you may design products from scratch or from pre-made templates using an editor that is incredibly user-friendly for the beginners. There are many sources that are available online to teach you how to use Figma. But learning will be much simpler if you use the lessons we provide below. In the tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way to start practicing designing apps and websites in Figma and will give you step-by-step -step instruction you can literally follow click by click. I will only tell you the stuff that you need to get started designing interfaces. So let's get started. So we are going to look at the tool called Figma and it has a few advantages. But most importantly for you, it's free to get started. If you are working by yourself, we like using it at Smart because it has also really good collaboration so we can have multiple people working on the same design file at the same time and it's really very fast. It works on any computers whether you have a Mac, PC, Linux, whatever you have, it works right in the browser. As you're watching the video, if you have any questions about how to do a particular effect in Figma or any comment or something that you want to recommend, Please put it in the comment below and if you want to find out more tips about UI and UX, make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel so you will never miss an update from Simply Learn. I wanted to start off with the templates. So what I want to do now is create a triangle for my own design and it will called as frame. So the first tool you need to know about is the frame here or you hit the F on your keyboard or anything I press will show here in the bottom left corner. So you know exactly what I press to activate a particular tool and then I can start drawing a size. But I know if I look at the frame here, I click on that, it shows. I can hit F again to go into the frame mode and then I can select from here a bunch of templates and I will select iPhone Pro Max. And then it automatically puts in the frame of a particular size and I will just place here and I will start designing. So let's assume I want uh, some different color background, right? So the easiest way I could accomplish this is I could draw a rectangle. I could do from here, you can see that there is a rectangle tool and it already says like R next to it. So I'm going to hit R on the keyboard and draw a rectangle, right? So I don't want to take it up. I don't need to take up the whole screen this is fine now I can see by default this is dark color so I will click on it
and so here is i say whatever like i can select the color To make it more attractive for the right under the position and the dimension so if i want to change this this is just in changing y coordinates and this is for sorry this is for the y coordinates and this is for the x coordinates You can see the dragging your cursor, see the cursor turns in the sideway arrows and I can click and just drag left and right, change these values or I can type them in the right. I can also change the width and the height. This is the width and this is the height. The right or the corners radius, right? So the rounding effect is there so I can use that so with the arrows this is a rounding effect and corner radius effect. suppose it must be 29 or 39 39 and I will keep this also by 39 so we can see this and this corners are giving the round effect So if I change 0 you will see there is no longer rounded and if I want to keep the top rounded but not the bottom then I can change the bottom ones right and now it looks good. Now the next thing I have to create is the circle. Is from the shape menu. You have an ellipse which you can do also use with the letter O. On your keyboard now by default you will be able to draw any kind of circle with any aspects of ratio now let's change the color of the circle you will often need when designing mobile interfaces because you are you will want to have an icon for home screen or something like that and you can literally google free figma icons after searching uh, this page will open and let's say i want to copy this one and i come back to my file and i will paste the element And Figma also helps you to with positioning it automatically centers things and let's say what I wanted to get an image here for the interesting instead of the blank color. So one good website is called Unsplash. Here I just write food and I will get the image. I'll save it okay. 
we will copy that and paste it over here. I hit the command V to paste and I just can reposition this. Now the thing that I need to text here that says non-contact deliveries and the way I get the text is through the T icon here and I can just hit the T on my keyboard and text no none so we will change the font by double clicking we will change the font of the text in sf pro text Make it a little small. So now we will write one paragraph here below. So I will hit the icon T again. We can write something related to our food. and we'll make this font as small food something like and we'll make it in the mid So now I'm going to have a button for order now. So for that, I will hit the keyboard again with the T. Repeat. A rectangle for. So now I'm going to have a button for order now. For that, I will have the rectangle. So I will hit R. And I'll make one rectangle over here. And make it in the center. I will pick one color for that.
if you can stay with the corner radius and so i said order now text and i will make it in the mid i will just center this and make it and let it be white and this is very easy and now i will just write another text for dismiss So, so starting with the template, we had make our special first page for the food delivery app in Figma. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.